Spartan Twister here with their, their uh, match on Sinister. Interesting choice. Sparty going to get a really nice start here, picking up the Mega, and he's got the Railgun too. So I really like Sparty's start, but the thing that Twister has to be thinking about is he doesn't have a Lightning Gun yet. You can see this is what Sparty really wants to get. He doesn't care about the Red. He wants the Lightning Gun. That's going to give him the utility he needs, the safety he needs, the options he needs to really be able to deal with Twister. Because if he goes into this next Mega and Twister takes the fight from the right places, Sparty's going to have to hit some really hot, like nice shots which are going to be a bit more low percentage of a play than just having LG. So you can see, you can see because he's got no LG, he's just going to chill and go for the red instead and then pick up the LG instead of dropping in for that, that mega charge. So that's really the, the distinction there to, to understand. And we've got Sparty now who, after making that play. And, and Twister, you know, they, they both settle. And they have this mutual agreement. It's like, okay, you know, I know what you want to do. And I know what I want to do. And we can just settle on the middle ground. And now finally, Sparty's going to go in for the attack onto the red. So here he goes up the stairs. And he's going to be able to take the red without much problem. Twister, he got pushed off a position and didn't want to take the fight. So he's going to back away. Not, I mean, that's the thing. You can never... Can tr you need to try to avoid taking fights that are not on your terms. Sparty catching more armor there, gonna whiz his way around to try to catch Twister. Would he, you know, should he go up the jump pad there? But he's gonna go for the Tully instead, which is usually a better choice. And it's, it's definitely a choice that I can see Twister making over many others. He does like to use Rel on those, you know, on those ranges. And here you go, Twister going to get caught out of the teleporter. Sparty forced to pull out the lightning gun to try to finish him off, but one Rel will be the death of the Swede. So he's being very careful right now. There is Mega Health spawning for Sparty. If he can get this red, it's going to be huge now, because Twister lost so much armor. Look, Twister's in such a terrible spot. Yeah, there it is. He's going to go down. He did go do some damage there, but he kind of had to challenge. It's really hard, a hard spot for Twister, because he didn't challenge there. Sparty's going to get full, full, full control. And the only thing that's going to save Twister now is, is if he realizes the time of both the Red and the Mega. But getting a bit lucky there. He's been able to connect a shot. And Twister, that is a massive... Oh no, Twister barely surviving that. <laughs> Had he died, he would have given away that Mega, but taking the direct rocket was something he definitely didn't need to do. But he wanted to try to keep pressure up, which is which is uh, you know, amicable. But sometimes the risk is too great. And we can see Sparty now. I mean, if we check Twister's POV, Sparty has quite... He's got 100 resource advantage right now. 100 points more armor. Twister. Let's see if he can do something here. He's on minus one. He hears the jumping there from his opponent and uh, he's trying to see what he can do here to try and remedy this situation. It's not looking super amazing for him. So let's see what he can achieve. He's just trying to go for the traps, trying to go for the slower plays right now because really things you know, otherwise are going to be very difficult. There is a nice little rail down to Sparty. Can he pull off anything else though? That's really the question. There it is through the teleport to Sparty. Going to go for a lot of damage here and not able to quite finish him off just yet. Twister in a desperate, desperate situation. And oh, there's Sparty going to take him down. So good stuff there from, from, uh, from Twister. But it wasn't enough really. It's a very hard position that Sparty put him in. So let's see what he can do now. Twister's going to see that Sparty gets the next red. And again, red and mega quite close. So Sparty's on the chase. Going to back away after the telly. And it's a situation where... Okay, he's going to find Twister. Okay, never mind. Don't really have to elaborate too much on that one. And uh, Sparty is looking in a very powerful position right now. Uh, it's, it's really hard for Twister to throw him off here. He had a few opportunities where by the items were both close this morning, Red and Mega. But the last time that happened, oh, he's just going to dive in for this Mega health. Great stuff there from Twister. A lot of damage done. This is the kind of play where he's going to commit more, more and more frags or rather sacrifices towards Sparty to keep him down. There it is. This is perfect from Twister. Absolutely perfect. 50 health left. He just needs to keep the pressure on. Only 100 left for Sparty. Twister has to absolutely find him before he gets this red armor. He's going to find him though and it's bound to the aim battle and beautiful stuff there. That was absolutely the best thing that Twister could have done. He absolutely understood the age-old cooler saying of knowing when to be aggressive 
and when not to be aggressive. That was absolutely perfect there from Twister. And now he's got Sparty on the back foot, but he didn't get the kill on Sparty, and Sparty's going to be such like a royal pain in the ass there, hitting a long-range rail onto Twister and making a play for this red armor. Sparty, can he get it? He does get the grab. Down to the railing, and Sparty hits one, returned by Twister. 50 bubble picked up by Sparty to keep him alive, and Sparty's been really just like living on the edge right now. There's not much keeping him alive at any moment in this game. And there it is, Twister going to go for the aggression again, but Sparty with really, really strong rockets defense, and that's so unfortunate for Twister. It's going to be very hard for him to find another opening like he did, because if we look back, what he did was Sparty went for the mega pickup, and he just basically jumped straight on it with the lightning gun and just took the fight, and he died, but he did so much damage and he stole away the mega that he opened himself up for more aggression off the spawn, and he died again, got Sparty low, and then on the third time he was able, he was able to actually make the frag happen and turn control around a little bit, but Sparty then proceeded to hit so many rails and trade so well that Twister was never able to get the frags back. And so really, really well played by Sparty to do that. But now Twister, with three and a half minutes left, does he have time to make plays like that again? Does he have enough time to throw frags at Sparty now? I, I don't think that's an option anymore. So he's going to have to rely on a really strong engagement. And it's, he's going to have to survive it, and he doesn't. It's a great rail finish there from Sparty. As he does manage to make things... Just calm down a little bit after after that frag. Just pick up more and more items. He's so stacked right now. If he gets this mega, there is almost no looking back. Twister has so little opportunity here against Sparty. Sparty now trying to defend this red armor. He should do so quite successfully. There it is. Going to be the pickup. And nice that he waited until he got hit there before taking it. And he's trying to spot his opponent there. This is not quite going to catch him. Looking for the shot. Still scanning for that shot. Eventually, lack of patience causes the rocket jump, and the interception will get him another frag. And Twister going to gift him one more. So he does hit some damage, but 8 to minus 1 now. And Sparty is definitely. Looking very strong here, and I, I don't see in two minutes, two and a half minutes, Swiss of turning this around. I wonder what you guys think of uh, Sinister. Of course, you know, this is the first time we've had it officially in a Face It Sunday Cup. And I wonder if you guys are, you know, what, what your thoughts are on this. Are you happy with the addition here? I have to say, I really like Silence. I'm really a Silence fan. For some reason, I don't know why. But it's an app I enjoy watching. And I think I have a preference for Silence a little bit over Sinister. But we haven't seen many games from Sinister just yet, so maybe Sinister's going to show us some crazy stuff. Twister going down again, huh? And 10 to minus 2 is not a friendly scoreline. That is, that is for, for certain. So Sparty has begun the party. Sunday with a victory against Twister, it looks like. And uh, another red going towards Sparty. Twister did get him pretty low, but it's kind of a situation where he can't miss anything. And he's missing some shots, catches Sparty in a corner, tries to bounce around with some rockets. More rails coming out, does connect one more. Can he get it next one? No, he can't get the next one. And Sparty will retreat onto more health and armor. He's now screaming, so Twister might be able to keep raiding him, but Sparty is going to do that instead. 50 seconds left on this map. And there is Twister. Going to get caught by some shotgun. A quick flick to the rail. And that will be enough to do the damage to finish off Twister. So Sparty now, 40 seconds left. Just running down the clock. Just kind of... Chilling, he's, he knows he's got this. Twister knows he's got this. And Sparty, that is. I doubt Twister has any crazy hopes that he's going to win this game, but just putting on some rails, having some fun. Impressive. And there you go, gets, gets the impressive. 20 seconds remaining now. And then this is going to close out. Impressive. There you go, more and more damage from the So, yeah. 
Tommy, you, uh, tell me your guys' thoughts on Sinister in, in the chat. Uh, whilst, whilst we uh, see this one hit the scoreboard, 15 to minus 2. Sparty taking this quite easily over Twister. So good performance there. Sparty is definitely bringing a very strong game. Twister had some nice moves, but wasn't quite enough. It was, again, it, it really came down to that one situation I spoke about in the game where. Twister did make that play, the perfect way to get back in the game, but after that, he just couldn't quite, I mean, Sparty's defense was just too strong. So guys, we do have Matrox and Vaccine coming up as the next game, so stay tuned for that, but for now, we'll go for a very, 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 very short break. We'll see you right after this. I'm DDK, and this is Face It TV. You're watching the Sunday Cup, the third one of the full season.